we dive into the mysterious world of secrets with the topic, Five Secrets About Yourself You Should Never Tell a Man. Now, we all have our own personal mysteries, those little enigmas that make us unique. They shape our personalities, our relationships, and our interactions with the world. But sometimes it's important to maintain certain boundaries, to hold back some aspects of ourselves. It's not about being dishonest or secretive, but rather about understanding the power of privacy and discretion. We all have the right to keep certain things to ourselves, to protect our personal space and our sense of self. And today we're going to explore five such secrets that you might want to consider keeping from a man in your life. Intrigued? Brace yourselves as we unravel these secrets one by one. Starting off with secret number one, your personal fears. Now we all have our share of fears, don't we? It could be the fear of heights, spiders, or even something as profound as the fear of rejection or failure. These fears, they're personal, they're intimate, and they shape us. They make us who we are. But when it comes to sharing these fears with someone else, especially in the early stages of a relationship, it's a tightrope walk. Sharing your fears can make you vulnerable. It can open up doors that you may not be ready to walk through just yet. It's not about being secretive or dishonest. It's about self-protection. It's about keeping a part of you for you until you're comfortable enough to share it. Remember, every relationship is a journey of discovery, of getting to know each other layer by layer, and your fears, they're deep within those layers. It's not something you'd share with a stranger on the street, right? So why should it be any different in a relationship? Think about it. If you share your deepest fears too early on, it might create an image of you that's not complete, that's not fully formed. It might lead to misunderstandings, misconceptions. The other person might start seeing you through the lens of your fears, and that's not fair to either of you. It's important to take things slow, to let the relationship mature, to build trust. And when the time is right, when you feel safe and secure, that's when you share your fears. That's when you let the other person see this part of you, not out of obligation, not out of pressure, but out of trust, out of love. Remember, it's not about hiding, but about timing and trust. Moving on to secret number two, past relationships. It's natural to want to share your past with someone you're getting close to, but beware of oversharing about past relationships. You see, divulging every detail about your exes can lead to unintended consequences. For instance, it may spark a sense of comparison in your partner's mind. They might start to measure themselves against your ex, wondering if they measure up or if they're somehow falling short. This can breed insecurity and jealousy, which are not ingredients for a healthy relationship. Additionally, constantly bringing up your past might give the impression that you're still hung up on it, even if that's far from the truth. The key here is balance. It's okay to share some past experiences, but don't let it dominate your conversations or taint your present relationship. After all, each relationship is unique and deserves to be appreciated in its own right. Let the past remain in the past where it belongs. And here we have secret number three, financial status. This is a tricky one, a topic that can be as slippery as a bar of soap in the shower. You see, discussing your financial status or wealth early on in a relationship can create a variety of potential risks and misunderstandings. For instance, revealing that you have a hefty bank account might attract the wrong kind of attention. Suddenly, your partner might see you less as a person and more as a financial safety net, a golden ticket to a life of leisure. And let's be honest, you deserve someone who loves you for who you are, not what's in your wallet. On the flip side, if you're struggling financially and you reveal this too soon, it might create unnecessary pressure. Your partner might start worrying about the future, about stability and security, which might lead to doubts and tensions in the relationship. And of course, there's the risk of judgment. We live in a world where people are often evaluated based on their financial status. It's not fair, it's not right, but it's reality. Revealing your financial situation too early might lead to premature judgments and assumptions about your character, your ambition, your worth. So what's the takeaway here? Simply this. Money matters are important. Yes, they're a part of life, but timing and discretion are key. It's not about hiding the truth. It's about knowing when to share it and with whom. Because at the end of the day, it's your life, your money, your story. Money matters are important, but timing and discretion are key. Coming to secret number four, family issues. Now, we all have our fair share of family drama, don't we? But it's important to remember that sharing these issues might lead to premature judgments or unwanted opinions. Why, you ask? Well, let's put it this way. Everyone has their own unique family dynamics, and what works for one family may not necessarily work for another. 
When you share your family issues, it's like handing over a jigsaw puzzle with a few missing pieces. The person you're sharing with might try to fill in those gaps with their own experiences or beliefs, leading to misconception or misunderstanding. Not the best situation, right? Moreover, dealing with family matters independently can often demonstrate strength and maturity. It shows that you can handle your own affairs and make decisions that are best for you and your family. It's about taking charge of your life without letting external judgments cloud your perspective. Remember, you're not being secretive, but rather you're respecting the privacy of your family. It's about understanding that some things are best kept within the family, not because they are shameful or wrong, but because they are personal. So, when it comes to family issues, it's okay to keep them under wraps. It's not about hiding the truth, but about preserving the sanctity of your family unit. After all, your family is your personal domain. Respect its privacy. Finally, secret number five, personal goals and ambitions. We all have dreams, aspirations, and targets that we strive for. They are the driving force that propels us forward in life. However, it's important to remember that these are your personal ambitions, yours alone. They define you, shape your future, and are a reflection of your innermost desires. Sharing them with others, particularly in the context of a relationship, can sometimes lead to unwanted pressure or influence. It might steer you away from your intended path, or worse, your dreams could be used against you. Instead, keeping your ambitions to yourself allows you to retain control over your life and decisions. It gives you the freedom to navigate your own course, to make adjustments when needed, and to stay true to yourself. Remember, your goals are your secret power. They are the beacon that guides you through life's ups and downs. Your path is yours to walk, not for others to define. That brings us to the end of our revealing journey. We've traversed the landscape of five secrets you should never tell a man, touching on everything from personal fears and past relationships to financial status, family issues, and personal goals and ambitions. Remember, it's not about keeping secrets for the sake of deception. Rather, it's about understanding the value and power of personal boundaries. Each secret represents a part of your life that you have the absolute right to keep private if you wish. These secrets are a testament to your individuality and your personal journey. Navigating relationships can be tricky, and knowing what to share and what to keep to yourself is an art. It's a delicate balance between transparency and maintaining your personal space. What are your thoughts on these secrets? Do you agree or disagree? Maybe you have a unique perspective or a secret of your own that you believe should be added to the list. Whatever it may be, we'd love to hear from you. Share your views in the comments below. Remember, your secret is your power. Wield it wisely.